Hi everyone, let's solve the fourth question from today's weekly contest that is subject pins with the minimum score. So in this question, we are given two strings S and T and you are allowed to remove any number of characters from T, right? And there is a score string which is zero if no characters are removed. Otherwise, let left be the minimum index among all removed characters and let right be the ma maximum index among all removed characters. Then the score of the string is right minus left plus one. Then we have to return the minimum possible score to make t a subsequence of s, right? What is the subsequence? So we simply remove some characters from the original string without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining characters, right? So let's see. Let's see what the question is. So basically, we have to remove some characters from this string t so that it becomes a subsequence of string s. So let's see. If we remove, if we remove this z and this a from this t string. So, right. So, uh, then we will be getting some score. So, that score will be the minimum index that we have removed and the maximum index that we have removed from this string. So, the minimum index is 1, we can see here, and the maximum index we have removed is 3, right? 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, the score they are defining it as this right, this is they are calling right, and this is left. So, right minus left plus 1, which is 3 minus 1 plus 1, right? So, we, we will get 3 as the score, right? Now, uh, we have to minimize this score that is given in the question. So, how can we minimize this score? So, what we have to do is we have to increase the left and we have to decrease the right. Then, we will be able to maximize this, oh, sorry, minimize the score, right? So, if, let's see, if I just take this index, right, then we will be getting 2 right so uh, what what is the score that we will get we will get a score of a uh, 2 minus 1 plus 1 which is 2 so yeah it is minimized but can we do better can we do better so if i just remove z because b a a if you see b a and a it is also substring uh, sorry it is also a subsequence of s right so if we just remove z so the score will become 1 right so can we do better than this? No, because Z was only creating the problem, right? So, 1 is the minimum score that we can achieve in this case, right? So, if you see, if you see, so I hope you have understood what we have to do in this question. Now, let's see how we'll be, you know, um, solving it, right? So, one thing that you noticed is, if we want to minimize the score, then we have to, you know, uh, take the middle characters, right? That is, we have to maximize the left and minimize the right index, right? Because we have, uh, we are saying, right, left is the minimum index among all removed characters and right be the maximum index among all removed characters. So, if we can do something like this. So, uh, if you see, we are trying to go from here to here and we are trying to go from here to here. So, when something like this happens, uh, prefix and suffix come into our minds, right? So, yes, that's what we will be doing here. We will be creating a prefix array and a suffix array. Now, what this prefix array and suffix array will be containing? It will be containing the prefix in T, right? Which can be the number of characters in the prefix of T, if we take, which will be a subsequence in S, right? So, if we create a uh, prefix array for this, what will be it? We will be having... Um, 0 right for the very first index then for um, we will be having 1 and then we will <coughs> if we consider z right then also it will be 1 right then when we come to a then when we come to a we will be <coughs> we are starting from here right right now it is 0 then we will come to b we have b so it is 1 here again if we come uh, here it is um, z right we will not we are not considering this then if we come to a another a uh, we will be having one only because we have a z here right then what will happen uh, when we'll reach here we will be having two right and similarly we'll having we'll be having two and if we keep moving forward we'll have three in the last okay then similarly we will create a suffix array in the suffix array, what we'll do? We'll again consider from uh, last of it, right? From last, if we start uh, taking the suffix of t, 
then in t if here we will have uh, a here right so which is common so we'll just put one here right so that is what we, uh, what will be in the suffix array then what will happen we'll come here right we will consider this a also but here also we can find that this is not a subsequence it will be one here we find an a so it will be two right c and similarly we will keep moving forward like this and uh, we will be getting <coughs> our suffix array right so this is what the suffix array will look like and this is what the prefix array will look like now what we'll do is we will simply combine these right we will simply combine the sum of these and we will check whether um, that particular length we can consider a subsequence or not right so let's see what i'm talking about what we'll do now is now we are we have made our prefix and suffix array right we have our prefix and suffix array so what we have to do is we have to now minimize the score so as i said we can minimize the score if we consider the middlemost part right if we minimize this so what we'll do is we'll do binary search in 0 to m range okay within this range we will be do binary search for each and every element inside of t why m uh, m is the let's say um the size of uh, this t string is m right so in the worst case what will be the maximum score in the worst case the maximum uh, the minimum score that we'll be having is the length of this t right as you can see in the second case right it is td and xyz so we have to remove all the characters only then it can become a subsequence so which uh, the answer will be three in this case right so that is why we are or and the min, minimum minimum score will be zero that we don't have to remove any character it is already a subsequence so we will be doing a binary search in this and then we will be you know what do we do we calculate a mid and then we will be checking if this mid is a feasible answer or not right if it is a feasible answer then what we'll do we have to minimize the score so we will consider a more short length right we will we will move toward the left part of this range right otherwise if we if mid is not a feasible answer we will move toward the right part and there we will search for an answer so that is what we have to do so now let's see in this binary function what we'll do we'll do nothing but we will take the prefix part and the suffix part right and we will check whether this prefix part and suffix part combined if they are less than the mid the length that we are considering right if it gives us less than that value if it doesn't then we have to move towards the right part of the array otherwise if it is feasible then we will move towards the left part of the array this is how we will be minimizing our score so let's see the code let's see the code so um here right we have created this l and r vector right of length n so n is the length of this string s right so in this string we are considering the characters of this string and we are finding whether the prefix of t is present or not uh, is a subsequence of s or not right so that is what we have done here so this is how we have created our prefix and then here we have created our suffix that the suffix of this t right the length of um, that uh, subsequence that we can find in the suffix of this t right then what we are doing is here you can see we have this while loop right and the range is 0 to m and we are checking inside of this while loop we are first calculating mid and then we are checking with this ok function which is the binary search function whether this particular length that we are considering if it is a feasible answer or not if it is then we will move towards the left part otherwise we will move towards the right part of the array so let's see the binary search function here it is so what we are doing we are iterating here and what we are doing is we are checking feasible solution right we are considering the suffix and the uh, prefix the prefix and the suffix part if we remove that particular prefix and suffix we are checking this middle part if the middle part which we want to remove its length is less than the mid right here we have transfers transferred uh, the mid right if it is less if it is less then what we will do what we will return true right so the first element of uh, this r vector is not present here right so what we will do we will we are considering r plus 1 here right so here we have this condition also we will also check for this otherwise we will return false so that is how we have to solve this question